Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is another top tip alert. <laughs> top tip alert? Today is another top tip video. Um, although maybe I do need an alert, like some sort of klaxon. Um, and we're going to be going through one of my favourite features in Mari. It's a really quick one. Um, we'll be over in a flash, it'll be painless, I promise. And what we're gonna be looking at today is this, the Marquee Select tool and a feature called the Lift Up function. So the Lift Up is really great if you've painted something and you wanna reuse it, but it's already painted into a layer or um, and it's not any longer on your paint buffer. So sometimes that can be the case. I found recently, I've been doing, painting a lot of stitches and then I'll go through and paint them, but then I'll need to add a second layer of stitching right next to it. So I want that exact same thing back in my paint buffer so you can see here, I've got this black and white mask. It's just got a logo in it at the moment. So the way I've painted this is I have a image that I projected on, but sometimes what you're gonna do is you will make changes. So let's say for example, since painting it down, I've made some adjustments like to the font, just getting rid of letters. I don't know, whatever you wanna do, but you need that exact same thing somewhere else. So you needed this love tail somewhere else. Then, oh, let me just make sure I bank for that. Um, so, I am going to use this marquee select tool to do exactly that. So I'm going to clear my paint buffer. One thing you might have noticed there is that my bake behavior is set to manual. I've specifically set it to manual on this and you'll see why, but usually by default it's auto bake and clear. So all I'm going to do is because I want to copy this is I'm going to lift it up into my paint buffer using this cool tool and then I'm going to project it back down into the same node. So it's this node here, I know it is. And so what I need first of all is I need the marquee select tool, which is one of these. It's here in, I'm using 4.5 on this. Um, so it's marquee select tool here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use the rectangular selection mode rather than normal default lasso. I'm gonna try and get as straight on with it as possible. You'll see why in a sec. And I'm just gonna select it. Cool, when I've got that selected, this is the great tool here. It's called the lift up. And now it's gonna think about it because I'm on a very slow laptop. Now it's thought about it. If I move along, then now I have that to project anywhere I like. So this is great. If I didn't have my bait behavior to manual, then as soon as I move the camera, this would have baked it back down. So it's really important to change that when you're doing this. So let's say I wanted this exact logo in the bottom right-hand corner of this asset, then I can do that. I'm gonna press B to bake, and then it should be there too, great. And then I can just go around, if I really wanted to, start pasting it everywhere. So that's, that's all this tool is. It's bloody brilliant, I cannot recommend it enough. And I feel like it's a feature that isn't widely known. Um, yeah, so if you wanna clear that, then to get rid of that marquee, you just press this delete button here, and then I'm just gonna clear my paint buffer to make sure that paint is no longer there, and that's it. Simple, cool. Anyway, that's the end of this quick tool tip. Um, this quick tip, top tip, I don't know what I'm calling them yet. We're gonna call this a top tip, because it's the third one of these videos I've made. If you like this, then you can check out my YouTube channel for other videos. We've got modeling, we've got texturing, we've got a bit of look dev, we've got a bit of nuke if you're feeling really fancy. Check that out on there. Otherwise, I've been Michael Wilde. Best luck, modeling, texturing, whatever you're doing in 3D. Take it easy, have a great one. Bye.